What's happening, Crypto Fam? Welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. And I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. Today we're talking about the risk of pre-sale meme coins. Now we're going to be talking about Solana, but this goes across every blockchain. Obviously, I'm not confirming rug pulls on every blockchain, but the risk is there. And sadly, 12. Solana pre-sale meme coins have been abandoned after just a month of raising funds. The 12 now defunct projects raised a total of $26.7 million by way of controversial fundraising method known as a pre-sale. At least 12 Solana pre-sale meme coins have been completely abandoned in the last 30 days after raising a combined $26.7 million from investors, according to figures shared by independent blockchain sleuth Zach XBT. On April 21st, post to X, he highlighted 12 Solana meme coin pro projects that raise funds through the pre-sale model, many of which have plunged significantly since launching and one which appears not to have launched any token at all. Now everyone knows on a pre when you buy a pre-sale, it's gonna go down on release. You can't expect people who've been given free value at a certain value that day to not go and claim a little bit of that value, if not all of it. If you would give someone a thousand tokens at a dollar each, you just give them a grand, you give them a bag of sand, and you expect them not to dip into it. That's crazy. Crazy. I know a lot of us are in for the long term, but when you give me a grand for fuck all, mate, I'm gonna buy some of the shit that I've not been able to buy for a while and maybe keep just a little chunk in your token. There's a massive risk with pre-sale. Careful what you put in. I remember Bab put a full ether in Bab back in the day. It ain't worth shit now. Should have just kept the ether. Should have just kept the ether. I had faith in Bab at the time. That's lost all it's lost. I've got about 100,000 of them left worth about $20. I'm done with that. <laughs> Hopefully in the future someone will sell them and make a bit, but I don't expect anything off it. So according to Zach XPT, the most costly abandoned pre-sale project with a meme coin was a meme coin. Dubbed. I like this coin. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> what I like... Some of the names it is, it needs to stop. It sported the ticker like the project pseudonymous founder Pokey.eth raised a staggering 52,000 sol. Jesus, 7.7 .7 million at the current prices for the meme coin and lost the coin on March 17 for the market capitalization of 577 million. However, the meme coin's value plunged rapidly, falling more than 90% in the first eight hours. As. <laughs> As of the time of publication, like is down 99.2% from its launch price. Notably, the meme coin's official X account hasn't made a single new post since March 31st. And Pokey.eth hasn't mentioned the coin since either. Oh, it's funny. He's put the 7 million in his pocket and it's like, whatevs, whatevs, mate. Gave you the token. You decided to sell it. It's on you. You caused the crash. You should have held it. If not one of you would have sold it, the price wouldn't move. If you'd have demanded higher, you know, you was in control. When you get given a token like that, you were then in control of whether it gets sold or bought by other people in order books. Don't add it to order books. Ain't no one selling it. Add it at a higher price than what you got it. Guess what? It's going to go up when it gets bought. <laughs> add it at a lower price on market. It's coming down. Right? So the second largest alleged abandoned pre-sale for a token called Moon K E Moonk Moonk launched by another pseudonymous founder, Rocket XBT on March 20th to an outsized valuation of nearly $500 million. Moonk soon charted a similar path to like, plummeting more than 99% from its launch price in a matter of hours. One project that raised 4,567 4, sol, accumulating in $800,000 plus. They never even launched the token. <laughs> Coin Telegraph contacted both Pokey Eve and Poke, uh, Rocky XBT for comment, but did not receive a response by the time of publication. 
Market's enthusiasm for meme coins has dwindled somewhat in recent weeks with several of the larger Solana-based meme coins, including Dog Willer Hat, sliding more than 40% since April the 1st. At the time, last month's meme coin frenzy saw several market pundits draw comparisons from the Ethereum initial coin offering or ICO era boom of 2017, where hundreds of crypto projects raised millions of dollars, but ultimately most failed to deliver. One of the most notable Solana pre-sale deb <laughs> debacles in recent months came in March when the developer of a meme call, a meme coin, I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't read ahead a little bit, but meme coin called Slurf. Fucking Slurf. Oh my days. Oh, it claimed to have accidentally burned. The entire pre-sale allocation of Slurf in a fat finger burn error. I mean, fat fingers all right when it's you're like, oh, typo, sorry, mate, typo, fat thumbs, I've <laughs> got big thumbs, burning your whole pre-sale allocation in one maneuver when we all know damn well you've got to like confirm and. Okay, and it is generally more than one click. You ain't no one clicking your whole fucking thing away, right? Stop it, slur. <laughs> I'm sorry if it was a legitimate accident, mate. I'm, I apologize, but call you coin slur and then do a fat finger thing. Expect me to have a little giggle while I'm talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Despite the slurf dev burning, a staggering total of 500... What the f... 535,000 sol, worth around 10 million at the time. The coin soon quickly became a cult favorite among meme coin investors who rallied behind the token. So it rallied to a market cap peak of around 750 million. Come on, man. I mean... Some of the token names like Mooncare, Frog, Temple, Sora, Milk, Gua, Thick, Earth, Form, Crying. I'm fucking crying. How tired this is. Guys, I've said on videos before, it's okay to chase that get rich quick thing. Like, I wonder if I can put a few hundred quid or a grand in this and it makes me rich in the next 12 months. I get it. I get it. it it's a lot. It's crypto lottery. I get it. But you also need to understand it's gambling. It's fucking gambling, right? Especially if you're not looking into the founders, looking at the tokenomics, the fundamentals, the white paper, everything else to do with the project. If you're not doing your own research and jumping in, you are gambling and risking that value immensely. Make sure you are willing to lose it. Yeah? This, again, like... A few minutes ago, we acted like pre-sales were airdrops where they're giving people free money. No, people are pre-sailing, they're purchasing it at what they at, at a cheaper rate than they expect it to drop at. But they're gonna sell it straight away. It's gonna happen almost all the time, whether it's pre-sale, airdrop, ICO. I don't care what it is. When people receive some value that they expect to be able to flip, expect them to fucking flip it. <laughs> like, damn, son. But yeah, it's brew time. I wanted to make people aware of the risk, not that you didn't already, but just be careful. We all want to chase that new meme coin. Even I put a little bit, a tiny little bit of money I'm willing to lose in the likes of Floki, Pepe, Cat with a Hat, all that kind of shit. Got no faith in the tokens at all. But if I wake up one day and the moon 5,000%, at least I've got a little butter off that mooning. Yeah. Take care of yourselves, guys. Strive for health, wealth, and happiness. Take care of yourself. And um, enjoy your week. Shit weather near me. Hopefully it brightens up. You know the dance. Live long and oddle, baby. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.